Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Pro's Park Fest and today I'm at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida with my little buddy Miles. We are we are down here because Amanda is speaking at a conference so we decided to do a little Father Sunday at Universal Studios and uh, we might think we think Miles might be tall enough to ride Hagrid's, we'll find out. So do you guys remember when we was in Universal Studios Japan and I got this amazing Hufflepuff robe? Miles is wearing it, what do you think? Is it good? He also has his Hufflepuff shirt on, and in my backpack we have Hufflepuff hat. I have my Slytherin tie on and my Slytherin socks on. I wish I was a Hufflepuff. I think I am a Hufflepuff. I just don't understand this. Miles just discovered something with his robe. Want to show what you found? It has sleeves. It has sleeves. There's little button snaps there, and it makes sleeves. So we thought it was just a cloak, but it's got sleeves. Sleeves! And here we are, guys, entering into Islands of Adventure. And this is, we, we love it. This is some place that Miles and I and Amanda come just to relax and have fun. We love Universal Studios Orlando so much. I'm kind of freaking out. Look, 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 our baby's tall enough to ride Hagrid's. Let's go do this. All right, so we just stopped at the Croissant Moon Bakery because it's only open till three o'clock and I love this place. We got some, we had a cheese Danish and now we're off to Hagrid's. To get to Hagrid's, we got to walk through Dr. Seuss Landing. It is one of the cutest lands you'll ever see. Now there are two main things you want to do today. Uh, number one, we want to try to ride Hagrid's for Miles' very first time. And number two, Miles wants to go to his very favorite candy shop of all the theme parks we've ever been to, and he wants to go get some candy. And since Mom's at a conference and she's not to say no, I'm saying we're going to the candy shop after Hagrid's. It's here in Dr. Seuss's land. And that's the candy store, Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers. That is Miles' favorite because they have them all lined along the wall. We'll show you once you get back from Hagrid's. Miles says he wants to show you what he wants to get. All right, little guy, what is it? This is what he loves. These Snickers and Snickers powder candy. And it's all different flavors. And you grab a little tube and you fill it up. And he thinks it's the best. They've got... Sweet birthday cake, sweet strawberry, sweet blue bubble gum, sour lemonade, sour green apple, sweet banana, sweet root beer, sour watermelon, sour blue raspberry, sour grape, sour fruit punch, and sour wild cherry. And you get a little container and you pop it in there and you fill it up. This is exactly what children love. Oh, you have one time before you got it. All right, I have to make an addendum to the last part of the video. Miles said he never had the powder candy. I'm like, yes, you have. And then he's like, no, Dad, I had the candy crunch. I haven't had the powder candy, so he's had the candy crunch, but never the powder candy. So today's a new day. Think to the left, think to the right, think low, think high. All the things you could think, if only you try. Bye bye. We're leaving Dr. Seuss land, and we are one step closer into entering into Harry Potter. Now, right behind me is Poseidon's Fury. It's a, like a show slash attraction. And they just announced that they're going to be closing it down eventually and, and retheming the whole thing. It's, it's So, yeah. So if you come here soon, you might want to do that at Poseidon's Fury before it's gone. And here we go, walking to Hogsmeade. Respect the spell limits. Well, this is a little anticlimactic. We went to do Hagrid's. We are all excited. And it's delayed. There's, it's The ride is down. So... Now we're trying to decide if we want to venture far away and then come back or we'll try to figure out what we want to do. So we've decided to get butterbeer. I got a frozen butterbeer and Miles got a cold one. And uh, that's what we're doing. I'm filming you. Oh, you're filming me. Okay, so this is the frozen butterbeer. We got a special straw for frozen. There's three types of flavors of drink butterbeer. Frozen, cold, like a soft drink, and warm. Warm is my favorite, but it's just too hot today to drink warm. So we're doing frozen. All right, the ride just opened up. We're excited. Miles, how are you feeling? I feel excited and nervous. Excited and nervous. Like every time I ride a new ride, I'm just like, I get the shivers. Like, is this ride gonna be good? It's gonna be scary, but but it always turns out good. It always turns out good, yeah. doesn't it? 
this is a big, big deal. So uh, you can either ride as a sidecar or driving the motorcycle. Miles and I have talked about it a lot. He wants to do the sidecar. Here's Hagrid's hut, where Hagrid lives outside. Got some giant pumpkins. Look at that. Wow. Now, when you're waiting in line, you can see a bunch of eggs. They have a chart there for eggs. There's like eggs on the over there. But there's a secret egg right there. See that shiny spot? That's the egg from the Tri Wizard tournament that you have to put under water to hear this, the message. It's hard to see, but that, there it is. Yep, there it is, the Tri, the tri Wizard Tournament secret golden egg. And this giant blue egg's hatch. And there's that giant blue egg there. If you watch it, every once in a while, it'll start to shake. It's not very often, it's kind of rare. He's getting a little nervous. He's doing good. Right before you get in the ride, you go in a room with wood slats on the ceiling. If you look very carefully, you can see Hagrid drive on his motorbike up through these little uh, lines. I'll see if I can catch it. It goes pretty quick. You see him kind of drive by, and, or you hear it, you'll hear the little motor. Motorcycle go. There it goes. Drive around in a circle. Here we go. Here we go. What did you think? It was awesome. It was awesome. It was crazy when we go straight up and then you just. We were sitting there, then and back. Then, and then you just go down. It's so fun. It's so fun. Tell me everything. What happened on the ride? So like when you go backwards and you go into you go backwards. the cave, you go yeah. You you suddenly go down. You just drop. And then you go forward, oh, and then you're on this. And then you go super fast. It was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. One of the funnest things you do is you pay a dollar. Our cannons over two. There they are. There they are. Wait for it, Miles. Shoot them. All right, guys, we're walking along, and this is what Miles wants to do next. Rips off falls, man, and you get so wet on this ride. So we're gonna go get a locker and drop our stuff off there, and we'll, you'll see the aftermath. <laughs> he changed his mind. We're gonna do Spider-Man instead. Miles wants me to film this here in Dr. Seuss land. This is the sounds it makes. Go, pump it up. Yeah. Whoa, you did it! We're gonna do one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, and this one you can get super wet on. It shoots streams of water. You can avoid them, but Miles will be driving, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit them. It's pretty lots of water. Ah. The spring water. That was good, but now I say, fly up or down the other way. Two fish, blue fish, up, up, up. Ah, oh, there's more water. Oh. Oh, okay. We've actually been pretty good. Miles has been very good flying. We've got not got uh, any wet water at all. Uh, actually, at all. To be honest, we hardly got sprayed at all. Miles is an excellent driver. Kind of want to get a little wet because it's hot today. But nope, he avoided it all. Okay, it's time. He's been waiting patiently for this. We're gonna do it. All right, first choice he wants is a little sour watermelon. Let's see if we figure this out. I'm doing it in. I think you have to push it. Let's so push it until you get the, how much you want. All right, that's a sour watermelon. Now we're gonna go to the next one. He wants blue sour. There's other flavors too. Blue sour raspberry. There's uh, sour green apple. Sour green apple. And now we got sour lemonade, sweet blue bubblegum, sweet strawberry. 
and now we have some sweet strawberry. Okay. We got sweet birthday cake, sour peach, and sour pink lemonade. Oh, sour peach. That sounds kind of good. Sour peach. Okay. Can we do some more? And then I think I'm going to cherry. That is sweet wild cherry. There it goes. There's a little bit of room, so he's gonna try to put a little bit of sour pink lemonade in. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at what you got here. Whoa. Wow, good job. All right, guys, we just got it. There he goes. Just kind of pour it in. Oh, there he goes. Okay, I might have to shake it a little. Oh, here got You got the pucker face. <laughs> Sour, super sour. Whoa. <laughs> He's going for some more. It's good. Good. All right. Let's do it, Hufflepuff. <laughs> That's that sour dance. <laughs> oh my gosh. This has actually been a fun day. There's a I haven't done a lot of videotaping because I've been with my son, but we've enjoyed it. We've ridden quite a few rides, had some really good food. Now, if you are interested in coming down here to Universal Studios Orlando, the easiest way, and I'll put a, I'm gonna put a link down below. If you click that link, you'll get the very best pick t uh, prices on your tickets. Or you can call 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY. Here's something that you offer unique to Florida. If you book your, if you book a Disney Resort Hotel and buy your tickets through Getaway Today, they will then give you their concierge service for free. If you tell them Park Pass, Provost Park Pass sent you or click that link down below, you'll get that concierge service for free. Most places charge for that, not, not here. You'll get it for free. That means like if you want to do uh, dining reservations and all that stuff, you just tell them and they will make those reservations for you. What? That's awesome. Yeah, so you click down, down below. All right, guys. I think we're gonna go back to this, uh, our hotel and do a little swimming today. All right, for those of you who are all right, for those of you who are maybe wanting to save money when you come to Universal Studios, there's a couple things I'm gonna tell you real quickly. Um, they have a pass here called an Express Pass. This allows you to skip the lines and go to the front of almost every attraction, not all of them. It does not do it for Hagrid's or Velocicoaster, but pretty much other than that, you skip the front of lines. If you stay at a Universal Studios Deluxe Hotel, you get that for free. It's about a $250 value. Everybody in your room gets it free for the entire time that you're staying there at the hotel. So you're only staying there for one day, you get it for the day you check in and then the next day, which is amazing. It's awesome. The other thing is they have what's called an express pass, which is just, it's uh, not unlimited. You only do uh, each attraction, you just skip the front of the line one time, which is fine. And then they also have one that's called, not a lot of people talk about this, it's called express pass after four. It's the cheapest express pass. You can buy this express pass and then after 4 p.m. you can start to use it and allow you to skip the line to the front of the attractions. But you can only start to use it after 4 p.m. And they only sell those on the days they have not sold out of express passes. If they sell out of express passes, then they won't sell the 4 p.m. one. You can buy the 4 p.m. one in the morning. Then starting at 4 o'clock, you can start express, uh, skipping lines. And that's a, that's a cheaper way to do that too. Also, click down the link down below. You get the cheapest tickets on prices for uh, uh, Universe Studios, uh, uh, Hollywood, uh, Florida, or their hotels here through Getaway Today. You guys are amazing. Let's go to our hotel and go hang out in the pool. I offered to put that in the backpack, but he said no. He's got like a kung fu grip on it. But he did tip it and got a little mixed up, he said. Total change of plan. So we just got back to Pop Century, uh, where we're staying at. We were gonna go swimming, but Amanda just called and a conference she's at, they got done early and they're going to dinner at um, Animal Kingdom. And right now at Disney, you don't have to have reservations after uh, two o'clock. So we are gonna beep bop run over, use our little wristbands, boop, 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 and go have dinner with Amanda. So you guys are gonna see Amanda. Well, we made it to Animal Kingdom. We're gonna go meet Amanda for dinner at what's the thing? It's called the Sultine Cantina. One of our favorite places to eat. There's a giant. It was a tree of life. It has over 300 animals carved in it. 
See, I mean, you can see why I'm walking. It's kind of bouncy. Here we are in lovely Pandora, guys. Floating mountains. Look who I found. Hi. We're at a conference. She's doing yes. all these amazing things, and you're yes. rocking it. And now we're going to have some dinner. Let's go do it. Yes. All right, so we're having some dinner. What are you eating, babe? Uh, uh, okay, so this is the combination noodle bowl with crusted herb sauce. Is that what it's called? Crusted herb sauce? It's the herb sauce one. And it is hey, so Hey, this came from Getaway Today. Hey, I, was just, I, was just talking about, I was just talking about Getaway Today in this video, by the way. <laughs> the free concierge service they get. Yes. 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 And also you had to do amazingness at Universal. Yes. It's the concierge service, you guys, there's no other way to do your Orlando vacation. Wait, well, tell changer. me more about this crusted, this crusted Speaking stuff. of game changers, this noodle bowl is a game changer. So Chris eats my meat. I just keep it off because then he gets double meat. I but get double meat. Popping boba in it. Like, what in the world? When can you be eating noodles and then have this juicy boba just So wait, well, tell everybody you're, you're speaking mouth. tomorrow at the conference. Yes, we're doing a round table. Yes. So the conference is... Uh, their theme is, it's a thought conference, so their theme is show me the money. And so we're talking about affiliate marketing and to get away today. All right. Yeah. Content creation, all the things. There's my, <laughs> my sweet, beautiful wife. Yes. She just got done eating. Did you know that? Yeah. Both of these. Both of them. I love it. Way to go, babe. I love it so much. It's your fave. I love it. It's delicious. It's so delicious. And it's such a unique taste. You can't get this flavor anywhere else, and so when I'm here, it's like you have to eat it here. You have to get this fix here because you can't get it anywhere else. So yeah, I could easily eat two. The and, noodles. And she did. The noodles are good, and the potato hash is good. The rice is good too. The noodles, I think, are my favorite. All right, so we've decided to go to Dino Land and ride Dinosaur. Hey, here it is, Dinosaur. A man has never let Miles ride on it. It's the first time. First time. It's a little scary. But he did Hagrid's. Yeah, he did Hagrid's and he's done Indiana Jones. And... So he's writing. Hey, Kim, what do you call a dinosaur with only one eye? Do you think he's Saurus? <laughs> oh, that's the towel. <laughs> oh, there's a dinosaur with one eye right there. What do you call a bunch of dinosaurs that like to sing together? I don't know. A Toronto chorus. You guys, I'm so sorry for these jokes. I feel like they're just completely made up. He's just like formulating them in his brain and then he just can't help himself. It just comes out. So I would like to formally apologize to each and every one of you. You guys are great sports and we are in this together. And Kim is in this with us. I'm like trying to get out of the scene. Kim and myself, we are in it with you. So if you, if you are suffering from these jokes, you're not alone. We're here for you. All right, so plans have changed. Amanda is they're off to a little special event at Hollywood Studios, and she had an extra ticket, so she took Miles. And I am headed back to the hotel room here at Pop Century, and uh, then I will be meeting back up with them a little bit later on. So I just want to take a quick little moment to talk to you. And I am talking to you. I want you to know how amazing you are. Did you know that you are absolutely 100% amazing? And you make the world a better place. Did you know that? And I know that some of you right now might be going through some type of trial, difficulty, or maybe suffering. And if that is happening, I just want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's happening to you. But it will get better because you are amazing. You make the world a better place. All right, so here's what we have going on. We have a whole bunch more Disney videos coming out. Then we'll be going on the Disney Wish. And then don't forget, we'll be going live on May 7th and be giving away those Tokyo Disney pins, 40th anniversary pins, that you can only get if you were there. And we got a whole bunch of them to give away. And we'll be giving those away in a live stream. In order to be eligible for that, you need to be subscribed to our channel and then you have that little bell notification. That way, when we go live, you will get a bell notification and a little location that says, Pearl Spark Grass is live. You jump on the live stream and you might have a chance to win one of those amazing pins. So this has been awesome. Yeah, here I am at the Pop Century and I'm gonna have to show you this. This is uh, the, the 80s room. Looks like a giant Rubik's Cube up there. Aha! Little 80s action. I'm actually staying in the 90s portion. So, all right, guys, you're awesome. And thank you for watching today's video. 
I really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye bye. We went to Hollywood Studios. Ba ba ba. It was super fun and Miles Road had reds. Then we got some candy and it was really good. Ba ba ba. And then we ended up meeting Amanda at Animal Kingdom.